The last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world to show how to be closer to Allah. He is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The bad people from Mecca did not like it when the Muslims finally had a safe place in Medina. The leaders of Mecca realized that Islam was getting powerful day by day. If they could not destroy Islam immediately, the Islamic power would spread all over Arabia. So, to make the Muslims weak, at first, they took over all of the Muslims' assets and lands that they left behind them in Mecca. Then, those remaining Muslims who were still living in Mecca, the Bad Quraysh decided to arrest them and started giving them severe punishment. The Bad Quraysh even punished the women and children. The Quraysh also blocked off all of the connections from other places so Muslims from Medina could not contact with their family in Mecca. Because everyone used to go to Hajj at the Kaaba in Mecca, the Quraysh had very good connections all over the Arabia. So, the bad Quraysh used their good connection and united all of the leaders from the surrounding towns of Medina. The bad Quraysh convinced them not to do any business with the people of Medina. At one point, Medina faced a big shortage of food and supplies. The bad Quraysh wanted to put an economic pressure on Medina. So, Medina's people started to hate the Muslims and wanted to throw them out of Medina. The bad leader of Medina, Abdullah bin Ubay, kept a good connection with the Quraysh. In this situation, Ubay and his people tried to convince the other people to hate the Muslims. But with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings, all the Muslims stayed united strongly together. So, their bad plan failed. When the Quraysh could not fulfill that plan, they came up with another plan. This time they threatened Medina. The Quraysh sent a letter that said, If Medina didn't throw the Muslims out from their land, Mecca would be very angry with them. And they also threatened that the people of Mecca would come to Medina to destroy the city. The Quraysh even wanted to kill Medina's children and make the men and women as their slaves. After getting the letter from Mecca, the people of Medina got very scared because at that time, Mecca was the superpower of Arabia and Medina was very weak. The Jewish tribes tried to use this threat to their benefit. They wanted to start a war between the tribes like they used to. Abdullah bin Ubay was the first person who wanted to kick the Muslims out of Medina. So he already made a strong group to fight against the Muslims. When the situation became very bad, Prophet Muhammad wasallam, tried to convince them not to fight with each other because there were Muslims in almost every family in Medina. If they fought with the Muslims, they would have to fight with their own family members. The Prophet also tried to convince them 
that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was with them. So the people of Mecca could not harm them. Because of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's confidence and good speech, everyone cooled down and agreed not to fight with each other. So, Abdullah bin Ubay's group and the Jewish tribes failed to fulfill their bad intention. When the mission failed, the Quraysh became very angry with the Medina's Muslims and stopped them from visiting the Kaaba. Then the bad Quraysh made an evil plan to kill the Muslims and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They thought that it would be the only way to stop Islam. During those very difficult moments, Muslims used to keep their weapons next to their bed when they went to sleep. Some of them even stayed up all night in order to protect the Prophet. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was very worried in that situation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then sent good news by Surah Maida verse 67 that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would protect the Prophet from any evil people so that he didn't need to worry. The Prophet became very happy and slept without any guards to protect them during the night. Up to this point for the past 12 years, the Muslims were defensive all the time. They did not fight back against the evil people who killed many Muslims because of their religion. Even after the Muslims escaped from Mecca for their religion, the evil people from Mecca still tried to kill them. So, they have made it very clear that the disbelievers would not stop until they killed all of the Muslims and Prophet Muhammad In that situation, there was no way to protect Muslims and the Prophet without fighting back. So, finally, in Surah Hajj, verse 39, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave permission to the Muslims to fight back with those evil people. In this step, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had mainly four missions. First was to protect Medina from the Quraysh's attack. Second was to stop any business group from Mecca who were passing through Medina to do business. The third was to develop good relationships with all of the other tribes around Medina to receive their help if needed. And finally, the fourth mission was to spread Islam all over Arabia. For that mission, the Prophet started to send small army of Muslim groups to different places. At that time, Prophet Muhammad heard that the most evil guy, Abu Jahal, was coming back from Syria with his large business group. So, to fight back with them, the Prophet sent Hamza, peace be upon him, along with 30 the Muhajirun to the northwest of Medina towards the Red Sea. Why did the Prophet only send Muhajirin and not the Ansar? As you know, the Muhajirun were the Muslims from Mecca and the Ansar were the Muslims from Medina. For several years, the Quraysh was very bad with the Mecca's Muslim, the Muhajirun. So at first, it was only the Mecca's Muslim's job to fight back with the Quraysh. For that reason, the Prophet did not send any Ansar or the Medina's Muslims in that mission. It was on the first day of the month of Ramadan in the year of 623 
and around six months after the Prophet Muhammad moved from Mecca. When they met with Abu Jahal's big group, they were ready to fight with those evil people who killed many of their brothers and sisters and took all of their assets in Medina. In that very critical moment, a leader named Mazdi bin Umar tried to cool down both groups and told them not to fight with each other. This was the first battle group in the history of Islam without actually fighting one another. Afterwards, during the next month, the Prophet sent another group with Abu Ubaidah bin Halif, peace be upon him. There was around 60 of the Muhajirun or the Makkah's Muslims in that group. They started their journey to the southwest to fight with another powerful Quraysh leader, Abu Sufyan, who had around 200 people with him in his business trip. The two groups faced each other near the city of Rabig. There, they had a very small fight by throwing some arrows at each other. In that fight, two people from Abu Sufyan's group joined the Muslims' group because they had already converted to Islam. So, they were waiting for the opportunity to join with the other Muslims. Did Prophet Muhammad go with any of the groups to fight against the evil Quraysh? Yes, around one year after he escaped from Mecca, on the second Hijri of the month of Safar, Muhammad took 70 the Muhajirun to fight back with the Quraysh. He went up to the city of Abwa, which was around 160 miles southwest of Medina. So the journey took around 15 days. He did not find any enemy during that journey. But on the way, he made a good connection by being friends with one of the tribes and got their support. During the next month, the Prophet went north of Medina up to the city of Buat with 200 Muslims this time. In the same month, a non-Muslim group attacked one of the Muslim group's cattle and robbed some of their animals. As soon as Muhammad heard that news, he took 70 the Muhajirun and ran after those bad guys to the land of Badr. But those bad guys quickly escaped. If you see all of these actions that Prophet Muhammad took, it was to warn the Quraysh to stop messing with the Muslims and to show them that Muslims were not weak anymore. The Muslims were ready to fight back if the bad Quraysh wanted to hurt them. Inshallah, in our next story, we will see how the bad Quraysh started the first war with the Muslims. Alhamdulillah, we have finally started our Ikra Cartoon Bangla and Ikra Cartoon Urdu channel recently. If you're interested, check out the description box below to find the links for those new channels. To support these new channels, please join us by becoming a monthly supporter for the whole thing. The Prophet Story